uh, a little e toned down a little bit, a little easier. What we could do is we could make the original problem like this. Remember, the original problem was 2 kilogram coming with uh, 3 meters per second. And remember, the other one was coming up this way. Well, if I change it a little bit this way, 5 kilogram and coming exactly to the left, it makes it a little bit more doable. Uh, what was its speed? Uh, 2? 2 meters per second? So it makes it a little bit more doable. And then I can give it this situation. And then the 5 would go down this way. And then I could give here 35 degrees, let's say. So 2 kilogram comes this way, goes up at an angle theta. And then the 5 kilogram comes this way, goes down at an angle 35. So pretty much the similar numbers, except the difference is the 5 kilogram is not coming up at an angle initially. Okay. The reason that makes it a little easier is because here when we're getting to the momentum, uh, what happens is <clears throat> 2 V1 cos theta minus 5 V2, uh, what happens here? 2 V1 cos theta minus 5 V2 cos 35, that's still the same. This one is what? 6 what? Well, you don't have 10 cos 32 anymore. What do you have? 6 minus uh, the momentum of the 5 kilogram is negative 10, right? So 6 minus 10, you have negative 4. And then how about the momentum final? 2 v1 sine theta minus 5 v2 sine 35. Then what's the momentum initially in the y direction? Zero, right? So it makes this one zero. Now let's do a similar thing. You're going to see that it's a little easier now. Um, what you could do is solve for V1 in terms of V2, let's say, here. Five V2 sine of 35 divided by 2 sine theta, and then put that V1 over there into the top. Okay, let's continue it here. So we have 2 cosine theta, and then V1 is going to be 5 V2 sine of 35. And then uh, minus 5v2 sine, uh, no, let's see, minus 5v2 uh, cosine 35. Equals to negative 4. And now you have here the 2 and the 2. And then cosine theta, sine theta, right? So that's tangent theta on the bottom. So we have uh, v2 uh, factors out, actually, yeah, 5v2 factors out, and we're left with uh, sine 35 divided by tangent theta minus cosine 35 equals negative 4. And now v2 equals this thing, right? Actually, I could change the negative and then switch the the order of this, and then I'll have uh, divided by 5 4 divided by 5, cos 35. You see, it is a little easier looking, right? Not as much stuff going on. And now V1 is equal to 5 you put the V2 back into that expression. V1 is equal to 5 sine 35 over 
2 sine of theta times this expression, right? And now you can put it into the kinetic energy equation. Uh, that whole thing. So now you, you put it back into that expression. Is that a little more doable? Huh? A little less uh, scary looking here. Let's see here. Now, now we're going to put 19 equals. And then we have V1 here, parentheses, 5 sine of 35 times parentheses, 4 divided by 5 divided by So 5 sine of uh, 5 sine of 35 times parentheses. Now I put this in. I put this in there. Now I divide it by this thing. Then I square this. I add it to 2.5 parentheses. Um, and then this one squared here. It was a little quicker. I put it in quicker. Now one of the things that I do when I'm putting these in is, for example, when I'm, let's say I'm putting this in, right, something like this. I, I put it in as 4 divided by 5 divided by this thing, rather than 4 divided by parentheses 5 times another parentheses. You know, it avoids having to put too many parentheses. 4 divided by 5 divided by. Anything that you have in the denominator, you could just keep dividing them, okay? So 4 divided by 5, divided by, then you put the parentheses. So I got the answer, 52.05 degrees. Okay? So I got the answer again. So this was a little bit easier. It was still a totally elastic collision, but the situation made it a little algebraically uh, easier. Now, one other thing that I could do is instead of giving you this kind of problem, here's what I could say. 